Today we're making a healthier version of the Starbucks pumpkin loaf. Ours is almond flour, it's paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free, lower carb, all the things so you don't have to feel bad about eating more than one slice because it's that delicious. I almost ate the whole thing. And bonus, it can all be done in one bowl. It's so easy. And because it comes together so quick, you're gonna wanna start by getting your loaf pan ready and getting your oven preheating to 350 degrees. Then we're gonna grab our bowl and start adding our wet ingredients. We're starting with one cup of pumpkin puree. You're gonna make sure that it's the pumpkin puree, pure pumpkin, not the pie filling that's already got sugar and spices added. We're gonna add that to our bowl. Next, we're gonna add three eggs. Half a cup of maple syrup, or you could use honey here. A tablespoon of vanilla extract. That's the last of our wet ingredients, so we're gonna give that a quick whisk before we move on to our dries. And onto our dry ingredients, we're going to do three cups of almond flour, a tablespoon of pumpkin spice, we have a recipe to make your own if you want to do that. A teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking powder. And a half teaspoon of salt. You could use your whisk again here, but it is going to get thick on you and it's going to stick in your whisk. So I'm going to use a spatula here instead and just kind of do a folding motion till it all comes together. Once you no longer see any dry patches, then we're gonna transfer it to our loaf pan. Then we'll smooth it out. And then we're gonna add some crunchy bits on top. So we're gonna add some pumpkin seeds cause that's what Starbucks does. But I've also made this recipe with crushed pecans on top or chocolate chips. You could even mix chocolate chips into your pumpkin cake. That would be amazing too. Then we're gonna pop it in the oven and this is gonna bake for 50 to 60 minutes. You're gonna wanna test it with a toothpick and when your toothpick comes out clean, you know you're all done. And then you're gonna pull it from the oven and you're gonna put it on a cooling rack and let it sit for about 20 minutes before you try cut it. If you decide you can't wait, just be warned, it's not gonna cut nicely on you, but it is gonna be delicious. You're just not gonna get nice slices. And that's it, enjoy guys. And if you do end up with any leftovers, you can keep it in an airtight container on your counter for a couple of days. If it's gonna be more, I would pop it in the freezer.